Good afternoon, everybody. My job today is to tell you some stories about organizations that are using the latest digital technologies to change the world and save lives. Let me start with some examples from healthcare. Now, I know most of you are not in the healthcare industry, but it's a great example of digital transformation. Doctors and hospitals are completely rethinking medicine in a more holistic way with more personalized, patient-centric care. Every year, more than 14 million people are diagnosed with cancer. It's something that affects us all, as individuals, our families, colleagues, and friends. Just last year, I was one of those 14 million. I was diagnosed with skin cancer, which is, if you have to have cancer, absolutely the best cancer to get. Um, thankfully, thanks to modern medicine, it was gone with a flash of light a couple of weeks ago. But I have been warned by the doctor that I'm now at more at risk at other forms of cancer. And so I'm very proud that SAP is using our big data solutions to fight cancer, working with experts around the world. This is NCT, the National Center for Tumor Disease in Heidelberg, Germany. They have, were created to use the best data and the best technology available to treat cancer in a new way. Now, cancer, it really is an information problem. There are hundreds of different types of cancer. Every incidence is different, and every patient reacts differently to those different treatments. So it's hard to know which treatment will work in advance. The problem isn't a lack of information. There's tons of information available, but it's stored in lots of different systems. Some of it is structured in databases, some of it is unstructured, like text of medical research, and some of it, sadly, is still on paper. Today, doctors take maybe up to several weeks to gather all of that information together to figure out what the right treatment for any individual should be. And all of that wasted time is critical for the cancer patients. So we worked with NCT to create a new medical insights solution. And what it does is we, we put together design thinking workshops where we brought the doctors and the researchers in and had them create the perfect interface for bringing all of that information together for effective patient care. So the structured information from the electronic medical records, and then we use text analytics to mine the unstructured data from all of the research and put it all together in a solution. And the number one thing they can do with this is get a faster idea of what is likely to be the most effective treatment for any individual based on all the research, but above all, based on other patients that show similar symptoms. Now, who here has bought a book from Amazon? Many of you. Now, you remember just after you purchased, it said, people who enjoyed this book also enjoyed that, these other books? This is the same thing, but for cancer. So people who ha have cancers like yours responded best to this selection of treatments. And we're taking things to the next level with the American Society of Clinical Oncology. This is the world's largest organization of medical professionals. And they're working on a very big problem. Today, everything we know about cancer comes from cancer research, but today only 3% of patients go into clinical trials that are used to create that research. What they would like to do is make sure that all of the data and the, pre the treatment information from the other 97% of patients is also available. So they created a new database called Cancer Link, powered by the SAP HANA technology. And again, it has an interface designed by doctors for doctors. It has to be really easy to use, and it has to be very actionable information.
So this solution allows doctors to collaborate around a patient so that they can coordinate all the holistic aspects of the treatment. They can drill down, of course, into any particular procedure. And then when they look at the test results, they'll automatically get all of the information from other similar patients that had the same kinds of results. It also makes best use of the doctor's times. So it helps them prioritize which patients they should be working with first. And finally, it accelerates medical research by matching patients with the best clinical trials available. Now, we heard a lot about genomics this morning. We've been working with the University uh, of Stanford on speeding up genomic analysis. Our HANA in-memory technology turns out to be perfect for the kind of complex analytics you need to do. And uh, we've been working with various researchers to turn that into personalized medicine. Today, for example, with breast cancer, uh, certain people with certain genetic modifications uh, are more likely to get breast cancer, but it also means that the treatment is going to likely to be more effective. Now, we've taken all of that knowledge, working with researchers, and turned it into the SAP Foundation for Health and uh, various programs. For example, we're providing free genomic analysis to our own SAP uh, employees as part of this program. Of course, we're not the only ones working on healthcare. Uh, the doctors and hospitals are doing it themselves, using these technologies. Mercy Healthcare is a fantastic example. They are a regional healthcare provider in the US. They have around uh, 50 different hospitals, 8 million patients a year. That actually makes them relatively small by US standards, but they're a giant when it comes to technology adoption. For the last 12 years running, they've been voted one of the most wired hospitals in the US. For example, they were very early and aggressive adopters of electronic medical patient records. This means that they have a massive data warehouse, 23 terabytes of information, with detailed information about every treatment that their patients have had. The problem was that that database was running on old technology. They could do some reporting with SAP business objects, but they really wanted to be able to explore that data in an interactive way. So they moved it to SAP HANA, and now doctors and researchers have nine years of detailed data they can easily surf through with our self-service tools like SAP Lumira. Their first phase was to try and figure out how to cut some costs. Now, it's important to understand that Mercy Healthcare is a charitable organization, and not for profit. So any money they can save in uh, operations goes directly to providing more affordable health care for people who need it. For example, they did a review of knee surgery. And there, it turns out there's a wide variety of different types of artificial knee, and there's absolutely no need to put the kind of knee uh, that would serve a professional footballer for 30 years in an 85-year-old grandmother. By it, doing benchmarking and standardization, they were able to save millions of dollars across the hospital chain. But the interesting thing they're doing is really taking their analytics to the next level. They've chosen two areas, breast cancer and diabetes, where they've taken all of the data they've got and using it to predict patient outcomes and to be able to adopt treatment to individuals based on their profile. Here, for example, in the lower left, you can see that it's the behavior assessment that really accounts for diabetes sufferers. It's, it's a disease where the lifestyle counts for a lot. And what they can do is work out what are the most likely uh, key factors in uh, diabetes sufferers. And so they can work between doctors and patients to minimize those factors and make the treatment more successful. Of course, to do that, they can't just do it when people are visiting the clinic or in the hospital. They need more continuous access to that information. So we worked with Roche Diagnostics to create a new bundle that provides constant information about diabetes sufferers. It's got a blood glucose monitor, a fitness checker, and a mobile application based on the SAP mobile platform. 
So patients can be at home, check their blood glucose level, and that information is sent safely and securely along with their fitness information to the SAP HANA cloud platform where it can be reviewed by the doctors and then any changes in lifestyle can be reviewed and patients can be put back on track towards uh, successful outcomes. And sensors are becoming a really big thing in medicine. This is early sense. They're part of the SAP HANA uh, startup program. And they have this sensor that you can put underneath the hospital mattress. Um, you don't have to wire the patient up. And it measures all of the vital signs the uh, heart rate, respiration, sleep patterns, and so on. And then all of that information is sent back to a central console where the nurses can be alerted for something that's going wrong. It's already saved many patient lives. Now, what they want to do is take that technology and move it to the home market. So right now, you can actually purchase one of these devices and put it under your own mattress at home home. You don't have to put on any bracelet or anything. While you're asleep, your fitness and health information is being collected and sent securely to the SAP HANA cloud platform with mobile applications to keep track of your KPIs as an individual. So this is preventative maintenance for humans. We believe it's a big part of the future of medical technology. And of course, the people that are in the fitness industry are starting to become w vendors of wellness. Uh, ASICS is a great example. They sell uh, shoes and sports gear for pro serious runners. And they just purchased the RunKeeper application, the number one application for running people. And now, why did they do that? They know they did it because they know that the brands of the future it's not just going to be about selling shoes. It's about embedding themselves in the customer journey in a way that keeps people motivated and maximizes their enjoyment of sport. So they've been working with SAP to provide a centralized system for all of their personalized customer information. For example, they have the Foot ID program. So you can go into a store and you can get a 3D mapping of your foot and an analysis of how you run and use that to get the perfect athletic shoe for your type of running. And they use our SAP Hybris program, uh, pro uh, platform to take all of that information. So no matter how you interact with Essex, whether it's mobile or in a store or on the web, you get the same interface using the same uh, approach. Sadly, uh, some of the time, health and wellness doesn't depend on medicine, but external factors. In 2013, Typhoon Haiyan battered the Philippines, causing catastrophic damage. It affected the lives of over 14 million people. Now, Plan International is one of the largest and oldest child development organizations in the world. For the last 75 years, they've been working for child rights and fighting child poverty. They, last year alone, they helped more than 18 million children in 90,000 communities in more than 50 developing countries. They work in a wide variety of areas to ensure that children have access to the basic resources they need to survive natural disasters. When it came to the Philippines, they wanted to act as fast as they possibly could. So they set up a disaster relief team in their London headquarters, and their job was to find the best staff with the right talents to work alongside their Plan Philippines colleagues. And to do that, they turned to a cloud-based uh, platform, SAP Success Factors, that stores all of the different skills that people can apply to these kinds of situations. And every disaster is unexpected and different. So they can quickly find people that have expertise in disaster relief, or shelter management, or child protection, and of course, uh, knowledge of the local languages on the ground. Particularly important is the ability to lead games and entertainment for children, to bring them some precious joy even in the middle of all of that destruction and help them make the first steps back to normality. Now, 
for Plan International, having a cloud platform is incredibly important. When they talk about uh, working in the field, they really mean in fields. They, uh, staff on the ground need to be able to access information from their mobile devices. And although access to bandwidth is a constant struggle, it would obviously be completely impossible to turn up with servers and networks in these brand new places. The Philippines, thankfully, is now improving thanks to the help of folks like yourselves. But Plan International remains on the forefront of new developments. Right now, they're working in South America on the Zika virus to ensure that families have everything they need confronted with this new tragedy. It's a fantastic organization, and we're very proud to help them with their mission. And we're helping in other ways. This is another organization, just 17 people, that have turned to SAP to help fight the Zika problem. It's a, a small entrepreneurial company in Brazil uh, with these motofog devices. And the idea is that they can go through uh, any type of community and fumigate the areas against the mosquitoes that are spreading dengue fever and other forms of uh, virus like the Zika problem. In general, we like helping great companies become even greater. Adesia is another wonderful example. They are they working to prevent uh, malnutrition and in some of the most vulnerable children in the world. They sell therapeutic foods like uh, Plumpy Nut. It's a peanut-based high-energy food that you can mix with um, uh, it has skim milk and vegetable oil and uh, vitamins and minerals. It's been compared to penicillin in its simplicity and effectiveness at saving lives. You don't need to have a refrigerator. It doesn't need cooking. It stays fresh once it's opened. Uh, you don't need uh, fresh water. So it can be given to any malnourished child anytime, anywhere. It has literally saved millions of lives. And Adesia have, so, have seen massive growth over the last few years. The problem was they were struggling with three different computer systems. It made it hard to make decisions. It made it hard to expand. They're now using SAP Business One to get a single view of their organization, the finance, shipping, quality control, and so on. Again, these companies are making a real impact on the world, and we're delighted that we can help. Now, the best way to avoid, uh, not, uh, to prevent, to deal with disasters is to prevent them in the first place. So this is uh, Buenos Aires in 2013, and uh, that year the relentless rain caused the flooding of thousands of homes and resulted in almost 100 deaths and millions of dollars of damage. And sadly, this kind of flooding used to be uh, a common occurrence in this city of three million people because it has nine underground rivers and an aging infrastructure. So the city government decided to dump their paper-based uh, tools and take a more modern digital approach where they could use the latest technologies to figure out which parts of the grid were being blocked in advance so they wouldn't get flooded. So they installed these sensors that uh, constantly beam back information from every part of the infrastructure. They gave mobile devices to their crews using the SAP technology to gather more information from different places. And all of that information was gathered using the SAP HANA platform. So now they can start acting proactively. So they can constantly monitor the network. Even when there's only a little bit of, of rain, they know what parts of the grid are being blocked. And so they can deal with that and prevent the problem from happening in the first place. And since uh, 2003, they've actually had torrential rain, record levels of rain every year, perhaps because of global warming, but they haven't had any plumbing. So the system is absolutely working. And we think that whatever industry you're in, this notion of preventative maintenance using Internet of Things is something that can probably apply. One final example. This company is less about changing the world and more about entertaining the world. Uh, 30 years ago, Cirque du Soleil came up with a new and unique customer experience that completely disrupted 
the world of circuses. And that core innovation has helped them become a big business. Today, they sell more than 12 million tickets every year. That's more than all of the New York Broadway shows combined. They have 4,000 staff, uh, 50 different nationalities, many of whom are in the air or on the stage right now. But of course, creating all of that magic on the stage requires some real hard work behind the scenes. And SAP has helped them manage every step of the ever-increasing complexity as they've grown. For example, we helped them manufacture more than 16,000 costumes from a dozen different manufacturers with 18,000 different suppliers, all managed by Ariba. And their artists and performance are obviously the core of the Cirque du Soleil experience. They use SAP success factors to ensure that they have everything that they have, everything they need to thrive in their careers. And we, we even help with emergencies. So if there's a, a trapeze artist in Japan who has ripped her costume and uh, urgently needs a replacement, and it has to fit perfectly to avoid injuries. So that has to be designed in Montreal and manufactured in Quebec, and then it has to have the right Chinese paperwork to be shipped to Shanghai in time for the next performance. Or the artist who is stranded in Kiev because he's lost his passport and needs to get to Paris for the performance the next day. They turn to the SAP Concur Travel Solutions to help them with that. And they have incredibly complex financials because they pay people all over the world. 70 different legal entities, 320 bank accounts in 26 countries and 19 currencies. As they deal with Warner Brothers and Disney and uh, the Michael Jackson estate, it's important to have reliable, accurate figures. This is the latest show from Cirque du Soleil. It's called a Taruk, and it's based on Avatar. And Cirque du Soleil has always prided themselves on being on the leading edge of innovation. And these days, that typically means using new technology. So they have collaborated with SAP, not just to support the back of the show, but really to create new interfaces that help the audience become immersed in the show itself. So we've created a mobile application with SAP HANA behind the scenes that provides a personalized experience for each individual using the data available from the show and the individual. So for example, they use things like the SAP HANA spatial mapping to take all of the, the digital effects and apply them to the particular stadium that the show is appearing in. And they're using our analytics to track every aspect of the performance and the customer feedback in order to improve their solutions in the future. So overall, it's a fantastic example of the new way of doing business, blurring the real world and the digital world to create a more personalized, immersive experience. So we look very quickly at some examples. And again, I know you're not healthcare companies or disaster relief or um, circuses. But I hope that you've seen some examples that can inspire you the types of technology that you can use in your business to create new customer experiences, to use Internet of Things to come up with new business models, new ways of selling, and our collaborative tools to help create new ways of creating value with your customers. And of course, we would like to help you take your existing infrastructure and apply it to this brave new world. Thank you very much for your time.